outreach to Bernie Sanders, you are right on Gaza, but wrong on communism. Uh, Senator Sanders, um, I don't even know if we'll make it to uh, the November election because I think that it's more probable than not that Benjamin Netanyahu will detonate a nuclear weapon starting a nuclear war uh, soon. Uh, six weeks to three months. Uh, and so, but if we make it, I would expect that I will write in your name along with Rashida Tlaib for president, vice president. However, uh, it's with uh, really um, unhappiness, uh, Senator Sanders, because what I'm finding is that uh, whether it be you or heroin, Medea Benjamin, uh, God forbid, even democracy now, there's this uh, delusion that uh, there's something good about communism. And uh, it's really um, disturbing and morally wrong. Uh, and unfortunately, I can speak with uh, the authority of experience Senator Sanders, because my wife is from Peru, and Peru has now gone communist. So what does it mean when a country goes communist? Well, for us, it means that her travel agency, Miami Lima, is on the rocks. Uh, her shipping business, uh, Miami Lima, is on the rocks. Uh, if you think about it, the government there says, well, don't go don't travel to the United States, travel to Beijing, travel to Moscow. Uh, don't buy your laptop computers from uh, Miami, the United States, buy them from Beijing. And so this is just wrecking her business and causing untold uh, unhappiness and suffering in my family. Um, and I uh, have followed this, and it's, it's it, communist China now basically controls Latin America because uh, there's there's three reasons, and I could go into them. Uh, it's basically uh, the Department of Defense uh, misspending money. We. We're spending eight hundred thousand, eight hundred billion dollars, excuse me, on weaponry when China doesn't even fight through weapons. They fight through the economy, and they're they're doing what USAID would normally do. We need to transfer two hundred billion of the eight hundred billion to USAID, which is where China is is uh, winning the financial war and taking over South. America in Latin America. The five countries, three under Biden's watch, Nicaragua, Peru, Colombia. And so, you know, you don't like to think of yourself this way, and I don't like to think of you this way, but you're a murderer. Uh, how so? Um, I'll just use Peru because I happen to know a lot about it, but it's applicable in uh, the in Cuba, in Venezuela, in Nicaragua, in Colombia. Um, so the communist, uh, Chinese communists have now taken over Peru and they're really like, they are acting like conquerors because they're after the mineral wealth. And they're, for instance, uh, uh, if, you, if, if you remember, uh, Bizarro conquered Peru for the gold. Well, gold is still a, a major export uh, commodity for Peru. The communists are now taking control of the gold mines. Um, and what they're not doing, and here's where I say you, in being soft on communism, 
acting like they have something superior to us, it, it, it really, it implicates you in murder, right? Um, so how so? Right now, Peru is um, deficient. The, the, the Chinese government, they don't care whether people, whether there's any law and order, see? Uh, and, and so there isn't law and order. And so people can't go to and from work because there's no police. Uh, uh, what's the right word? The police are not functioning. And, and so just to go to your job in Lima, you uh, I say you, but it's the Peruvians risk. I apologize. I don't like to do that to people to say you go to your job. You, you, I don't know if you've been to Peru, but for the average Peruvian going to work in Lima, they're risking life and limb. They, they, the chances that they will be mugged going to or from work are way beyond uh, where they should be, right? Uh, and even could be can be murdered. And it's directly attributable to communist China. And... That's why I've written to Xi Jinping. I need to take back my statement that you, uh, Senator Sanders, are guilty of murder or not. I don't dwell on that subject. But what I do dwell on is that Xi Jinping, and I've written this to him, um, needs to be indicted for murder of Peruvians. The murder rate has gone... I, I haven't studied the statistics, but I would say it's probably conservatively doubled uh, since the communist takeover. Uh, and it's attributable to, and it, 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 this Peru is not alone in this. I could move on to Cuba and Venezuela, which I happen to know fairly well. Uh, and, but let's just stick with this for a second. So, so get off it. Get, it, it, it st stop being so stupid. Communism is a very bad form of government. Uh, I will touch on Cuba here because, you know, Miami is nothing if not uh, oriented to Cuba. And it's both good and bad. Uh, let me just say, and I, I try to be honest and forthright, uh, Cuban Americans um, ha are not suffering. They uh, are doing well, uh, and they are prone to abuse power. Uh, but the Cubans on the island, 11 million of them, uh, are suffering, and people here want to say, well, it's, it's the Cuban trade embargo. But the reality is it's only, that's only part of the problem and it's not the largest part of the problem. The largest part of the problem is that communism doesn't work. Uh, free enterprise is necessary for success and it's outlawed in Cuba. Um, secondly, the communist leadership in Cuba is extraordinarily cruel. I mean, one of the most uh, amazing examples of that is they don't have access to the internet. When Obama did his outreach to Cuba to try to make people aware of the devastating effects of the embargo and you know try to be of help to the situation, he got them to give people access to the internet. They're lying to the people, you follow me? I mean, talk about cruelty. So you, you visit Cuba and you got a tour guide that's saying, uh, we have the best architecture and the best buildings in the world. And you look around, it's, it's like a dustbin, right? It's, a, it's like a, a war zone or something because all the buildings are crumbling. Uh, and, uh, and yet the, the people are, are being brainwashed because they don't even have access to the internet. Um, so when you, when you look at those three factors in Cuba, Senator Sanders, um, yes, the Cuban trade embargo is, 
is morally wrong. It's wrong because Q, uh, Castro confiscated all the weapons shortly after he took power in the 60s. So starving or a hungry person is, uh, is an angry person, right? And then we want to foment rebellion. The idea of the Cuban trade embargo is to foment rebellion. The problem is they don't have any guns. So it's not going to do them any good to go up against an armed police officer. And so they're worse off than ever. It's better to slowly starve to death than get, than get your brains blown out by a policeman. The Cuban trade embargo will never work. It should be ended. But the problem is that doesn't end the massive suffering in Cuba, which is even more greatly caused by a, a, a totally defective and flawed concept. Communism will never work. There's never been a withering away of the state. Uh, I mean, we could go on. Look at East Germany. It's a perfect example. Communism suffocates the people. Um, and then when you... The, the, but if, if you want to think of it as a th three causes and two mean that you need to... to, to we, we need to overthrow the, the, the communist government in Cuba. Why do I say that? Because between the lack of free enterprise and the extraordinary cruelty of the Cuban leadership, um, the uh, Cubans will never uh, live in prosperity unless the government is, is overthrown. Uh, there's so much more to say, and see, the thing is, I know what I'm talking about because I live here because in Miami, right? Hablo fluido el español. I spend uh, the the one compliment I get in life is, oh, you speak very good Spanish. Oh, tú hablas muy bien el español. So when you speak Spanish, and let's say you're an Uber driver, you're talking to people constantly about their own countries. Miami has. Uh, uh, 65 to 70 percent Hispanic residents of its 2.7 million residents. We are the capital of Latin America. And so what am, what am I going to do? I'm going to close here. It's, I'm sorry it's gone on so long. I will be writing in your name for president and writing in the name of Rashida Tlaib if we even make it. I don't think personally... We will. I think there'll be a nuclear war before then, started by Benjamin Netanyahu. That's why I'm voting for you, if I get that chance. Or, um, and that's the highest priority, just to survive. But I, I ask you to take my comments seriously. I, I know from personal experience, you're living in a delusion when you try to pretend that there's anything good about these communist governments. It's 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 a... Uh, you're, you're causing harm by letting, giving yourself the luxury of pretending there's something good about communism.